Hey guys, I'm Trenton. I'm a physical therapist with Freedom Physical Therapy and I'm showing you a few exercises today to help strengthen your core and your spine uh, to keep your back healthy and help you be more supported during the day. So the first one I'm showing is called the dead bug exercise. You'll need to lay down on a flat surface. Can you just come back here? So you're gonna start with your, your back flat and your knees bent. You're gonna start by tightening your stomach and drawing in, almost like you're flattening your back on the table. And you'll raise both your legs up and both your arms up. Now, this exercise has three levels. The first level of difficulty is just dropping one arm back at a time and then dropping one leg down at a time and you are trying to keep your back stable and your core tight the whole time. The second level of difficulty would be just alternating with one leg and arm at a time. So with the left arm, you'll have the right leg and with the right arm, you'll have the left leg. And that is the dead bug. All right, follow me on here. This wall look okay if I use this? Yeah. Right, I'm going to do you again. Watch from the side here. Oh, okay, over here. So the second exercise I'm showing you is called the hip hinge, which is the first part of a deadlift, which has been shown to be very good for supporting your spine, helping you get a strong back. So to train that pattern, you can use anything from a golf club, a broomstick, and then gradually increase your weight using a weighted stick or um, dumbbells even. But the motion looks like this. You'll start with your back to the wall and come out a half a step with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna keep your arms straight and your goal is to touch your butt to the wall straight back and then come back up. You're trying your best to keep whatever your weighted tool is against your thighs. You don't want it to come away from you. So a lot of mistakes people make is they'll round their back or let the, the tool come away. So it should be a tight stomach, butt going straight back and tapping the wall and then using your glutes to lift straight back up. Got that one. Are we going to stand for this one? Right there, it's good. Make sure I'm not overdoing it. Yeah, okay, ready? This next exercise is called the Paloff Press. So what you're going to be doing is engaging your core and keeping your, your back flat while you're standing. You're going to have some sort of resistance. I have this pulley system, but you can also use a band. You're going to keep your hands at your stomach and step away from the resistance, trying to keep yourself vertical, and you will push your arms straight and then pull back in. The goal is to be able to do this repeatedly and keeping your body relatively vertical without leaning or without twisting when that band is too strong for your body. You wanna make sure you can always do a resistance where you can keep yourself vertical. Okay. That's good.